Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to the second tutorial in our seven part tutorial series about how to use OpenOffice Presentation. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to add slides, delete slides, duplicate existing slides, and modify the appearance of your slide. Let's get started by adding a new slide. To add a new slide, simply come to the Add Slide button here and click on it. We've now added a second slide. To delete a slide, simply select the slide you want to delete, right click on it and choose Delete Slide. And you've now deleted the slide. To duplicate a slide, select the slide you would like to duplicate and either click Duplicate Slide here We'll come up to insert and choose duplicate slide and we've now created a duplicate of that slide now let's change the background color of our slides to do that come to format and then choose page or well, under background we can change the background color we can have a solid color and you can choose one of these like so you can have a gradient, a hatching, or a bitmap as your background as well. We're going to stick with this solid color. When we're done, click OK. You can now choose to apply that background color to either all slides or just the one slide. We're going to apply it to all slides, so we're going to click Yes. As you can see, the background of our slides has now changed to this blue colour. We can also use themes to apply styling to our slides. OpenOffice has a couple of inbuilt themes, but you're able to download other themes from the internet. To change the theme of your presentation, come to the Master Pages button on the right hand side. Here you'll be able to see a series of pre-built themes for you to use. For example, this stripey theme. Select the theme you wish to use from the options available to you. You can also customise the layout of your slide by coming to the Properties tab here on the right hand side. Here are the different layouts available to you. We'll look at changing these in the master slides tutorial. Select the layout you wish to use from the list available. When you're done, simply close out of the properties menu. Now we've got a layout for your slide, we can add content to it. Here we have a text box and we can edit the text in the same way as for most text editors. You can change the font, the font size, make your text bold, italic, underlined, or add a shadow. Choose the alignment of your text and use drop down lists. You can also change the font color here. We'll be looking at using word art or font work in our next tutorial. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have, leave us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Hope to see you next time, but for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.